So you're just going to land on anything, but first I don't mind which notes you land on, okay? First and fifth. Yeah, what fifth? Yes. Excellent. That is pretty good. Hang on, let me fill that. Oof. Yeah, <laughs> rock solid. <laughs> Right, so we want to just let it go. Right, okay. So what we're going to do for you is we're going to do the next exercise. Okay. And I call this jellyfish jumps. Apologies for the children language, but it, adults like it as well. Now, uh, what I want you all to just try doing is just imagine, I, I don't know if you can have an image of a jellyfish in your mind, but just sort of feeling that the jellyfish is sort of swimming along in this way. Just try that, Jess. Like yeah, yeah, pretty good. Yes. Right. Now, do it on your knee or on a book or, you know, whatever you want to do. Yes. So what we're doing is we're feeling that the jellyfish just sort of jumps out of the surface. Yeah, excellent. Fantastic. Right. But, okay, so I'm not going to talk to that. Okay, now just do it on, on, uh, on all there. So on one, landing on one and five. Or land on all the fingers first. Now just land on one of five. Right. Now we're going to do one, two, three, jump. So the jellyfish is really sort of done. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, big one on the left. Jump, jump. Right. Now, if your hand was really like a jellyfish, jump, jump, jump. Ah, I feel like jelly. Jump, jump. So that the idea of just allowing yourself time to let it soften up in the air mm. has made that it's actually landed more softly as well. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Now try it um, uh, with a, on a fifth. So I think that rhythm works quite well for you because it gives you time to, 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 uh, to really do a sort of really fit it good to jelly. Excellent. So if you play the wrong notes, it doesn't matter. Two on each, so two fives, two five, five, one, 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 five, five, one, five, five, one, one, five, five, and then one on each, one, five, one, five, one, five, one, five, one. So you see how your arm is actually doing the same. 
same movie. Yeah. But it, it, but it's just it's up and down. It's just landing on different yeah. fingers. Projection. Yes. Yeah. Um, so it's ex exact. It, it's still an arm, an arm bounce, and the rhythms in my arm. Yeah. And I can land on my third finger. I can land on my fifth. I can land on my thumb. But I'm still actually using that same bouncing forearm staccato. Great. Um, and I think full on, that is, I think, the most useful staccato technique to learn. I mean, eventually, if we're doing something really much faster, we do end up using a finger staccato, um, where, because we haven't got time to, to make such a big movement. But if you've got time, um, then you'll use that arm staccato for everything. If I'm playing an accompaniment um, by Bach, for instance, you know, where you've got to sort of, I'll just show you, um, you know, this. You see what I'm doing with my arm? I use that for all those sort of quaver passages in Bach, because they just sound, makes them sound really sort of solid and, and, and steady. Whereas if I try and do it with my fingers, Life, does it? It sounds cautious, it sounds rather thin. Yeah. 